lawnmower is having trouble starting. And stay tuned for this video because I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that. My name is Rick Burrows. You're watching Fix It Rick. So let's fix it. So there's only three things that a lawnmower needs in order to start. It needs fuel, it needs air, and it needs an ignition source. Since we know we have fuel, let's go ahead and check the air. If your filter is really clogged and it's not getting enough air, that could be the reason why it's not starting. So right below this button, there's a little air intake valve that moves. What you want to do is take that carburetor cleaner, go inside there, and spray away. Get all that junk out of there. Let's go ahead and check the oil. It's this little yellow cap right here. The oil level should be where the arrow's at, but it's way too low. Let's go ahead and add some oil. This is SAE30, designed for small engines, primarily the uh, lawnmower. A little funnel right here. Put our dipstick in to measure it. So this oil doesn't have much color to it, but I can see that it's right at the arrow line where it needs to be. Next, we're gonna look at the spark plug. Pull the spark plug cable out. Remove the spark plug using a 5 8 deep socket. So you see how dirty the old spark plug is? We're gonna use some carburetor cleaner right in the spot where it's supposed to go. You just want it gently snug and we'll plug it back in. So this is what good fuel should look like and this is what bad fuel looks like. The good fuel is transparent. You can actually see my fingers. The bad fuel is not transparent. You can't even see anything through that. If this stuff gets in your engine, it just means your engine's dirty and it won't start. So to remove the fuel from this fuel tank, we're gonna pinch off fuel line with a vice grip. We wanna have a glass ready and then remove the little clink that's on the hose. And then we'll remove the vice grip and let all the fuel just drain right out. In order for us to take the fuel tank off, these three bolts need to come out. Now we can simply lift the fuel tank and it comes right out. So I got this pan right here. We're just going to unload all that fuel right in there. Since we don't want any water inside this thing, we're going to use the carburetor cleaner to get rid of any debris and junk that's been building up in there. You know, I'm really curious. So we're gonna look inside this hose. And oh wow, this thing's actually clogged. If all else fails and you've tried everything, one of the last things you can do is replace the carburetor. Replacing the carburetor is very simple and it's actually really inexpensive to swap these out. So we'll take some vice grips and put it on the fuel. Remove the filter cover. We're gonna use a 5 16 and remove these screws. After you pinch the fuel line, you'll see that there's a little hose clamp right there. You gotta use an adjustable wrench to get that off. And slide it to the side. Now you need to pull the tube right off. And then pull that off. So once you remove it, you wanna keep this end facing upward. Otherwise, all the fuel is gonna leak out and spill everywhere. And then throw this entire piece right in the garbage. So here's the old carburetor and here's the new one. So I took the cover off to give myself a little bit more room and it's easier to get this slipped back on. And then we just slide everything back in place, put the fuel line back on, take the hose clamp and then we'll slide that back over. Now let's put the filter back in place. Screw these screws back in. Put our filter back on. Last thing you do, put the polar polar assembly back on. Remove the clamp. I don't see any leaks coming now. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right guys, if you found that this video was really helpful, this thing is super cheap, it was like 25 bucks, you can get it, link in the description below. If you found that this video was helpful, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And always remember that Jesus Christ loves you, and only he can solve your biggest problem.